let's find out more about small animal care. In this video, we'll explore what it's like caring for small animals and rodents. And you can learn even more in our Small Animal Care Lap Book. The link to download yours is below this video. Let's get started. Do you have a favourite small animal? A hamster? How about a guinea pig? A rabbit? Or even a rat? Our lap book resource is filled with loads of information about all these different animals and how to care for them. A good place to start is with their diet. Let's find out more about what they like to eat and what we should avoid feeding them too. Let's test our knowledge. Which of these foods are dangerous for rats? Is it cucumber, broccoli or citrus fruit? Cucumber is safe, so is broccoli, but citrus fruit is not. How about guinea pigs? Which foods are dangerous for them? Bell pepper, avocado or carrot? What do you think? A bell pepper is safe and so is a carrot, but they should not eat avocado. True or false? Guinea pigs are lactose intolerant, so milk, cheese or any other dairy product can make them sick. Do you know the answer? It's true. True or false? Guinea pigs are omnivores and can have any sort of meat or fish. It's false. They're herbivores and should only eat plants. True or false? A small amount of fruit and vegetables can be fed to gerbils every day. They can eat broccoli, spinach, carrots and peas, as well as apple, pear and strawberries. This one's true. There's so much more to learn about these little animals' diets and you can do just that in our lapbook resource. Although you may have a favourite type of small animal, there are also loads of different breeds of that animal to choose from. It's quiz time. One of these is a lop-eared rabbit, but which one? Which one do you think it is? It's A, a lop-eared rabbit. One of these is a Flemish giant. Which one do you think it is? It's B, the Flemish giant is a really large rabbit. Which one do you think is a Dutch rabbit? Take a guess. It's A. A Dutch rabbit has white and black markings. You can carry on this matching game for guinea pigs and rabbits in our resource. Don't forget the link is below this video. It's really important that we know how to safely pick up and handle our animals. Let's find out more. Let's put these instruction cards for picking up a rabbit in the right order. Look closely and decide which you think comes first, second and so on. You can pause the video here to take a closer look at each card and work out which order the instructions go in. Let's take a look at the right order. Did you work it out? These rodent handling sequencing cards are part of the lap book too. Pretty soon you'll be experts in handling small animals. Let's take a closer look at guinea pigs and have a go at labelling the parts of their body. Match the body parts listed down the left hand side with the picture. You can pause the video here to complete this activity. Let's start with their paw. It's here. What about their nail? There it is. The crown is here on the top of their head. And what about their belly? Of course, it's down here. Their ear. Did you get it right? It's here. Here come some more body parts. Get ready to pause the video and have a go at matching them up with the picture. Time to see if we got them right. The nose is here. Their eye is right here. What about whiskers? There they are. And the mouth is here, which must mean that this is the rump. How many did you get right? Caring for our small animals and keeping them healthy is really important. That's why we've included these daily care checklists in our lap book. You can find out about how to care for each small animal. Hamsters, guinea pigs, rabbits, gerbils and rats. These handy checklists will fit neatly into your lap book resource. But sometimes our animals might need more than the care we can give them at home. And when a trip to the vets is needed, you can use these handy charts and trackers. A great way to make sure you're keeping your pet safe and healthy. So if your child has an interest in animals, then this lap book is the perfect place to start. We hope you enjoy using it. Another great resource brought to you by the Twinkle Home Ed team.